Hi, I'm Tamara. And I'm Patrice. Thank you for stopping by our channel. We are authors of Real Food is Real Good. Yes, now, before you comment, we know the title should be we, Real Food is Really Good. However, we chose Real Food is Real Good to convey a certain message. So if you want to know more about that, then check out the posts on our page. Our cookbook is vegan, vegetarian, wheat-free, gluten-free, soy-free. We focus on whole foods. We also have healthy guide in our cookbook and a how-to section to help you along your journey. Okay, well today we like to demonstrate how to make chickpea or garbanzo bean flour. Well, what you'll need, a bag of beans, and you can find these in the dry food section, um, the dry beans, you know, where you find northern beans, black beans, pinto beans, and usually in the same aisle as rice. Now, you're going to put the beans in your blender, and you can use a high-powered high blender like we have here, or you can use a coffee grinder, or even just a small personal blender. Now, we don't recommend you use a coffee grinder if you're going to need a lot of the flour. But if you just need a little bit, then that would be fine as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pour half of the beans in here. You can hold that for sure. me. We just blended some. We do use a lot of the flour and the beans and a lot of the recipes in the cookbook. Okay, that should do it just for demonstration purposes. Okay, right. thank you. All right, okay. All right, now watch those ears because it's kind of loud when you first start turning the machine on. Because what you want to do, you want to check for brown specks. If you have a lot of them in there, then that might mean you need to blend just a little bit more. some beans that didn't get blended up very well, you'll be able to catch it through your strainer. Also, some people like to just strain it anyway because it allows you to have a little bit fluffier um, bean flour. So it's your choice, but see today, we just got a few specks there, and this really wouldn't mess up your recipe too much, but um, if I would have just taken time to blend maybe another 30 seconds or so, that would have probably been taken care of. Okay. Now, when you take your bean flour, you can store it in an airtight container in the refrigerator in a plastic or a plastic bag, and it will last for a few months. Now, we recommend that you do that, and we also recommend that you make enough to last you for a few months. So, buying maybe four one-pound bag of beans, that ought to last you for at least a month, especially if you're using the recipes in the book for, you know, maybe once or twice a week. You should be fine. Okay, well the last thing we wanted to show you was what we made with our bean flour. Mm. This is some bean bread. That looks yes, good. it does. You want one? Please. Okay. Thank you. Well, we have some bean bread here, and it's on page 46 in our cookbook. And I'll go ahead and take this down a little bit so you can see the texture. It pretty much is just like a muffin texture. And this is great if you're gluten-free or if you're just trying to stay away from bread. This is a great recipe to use. And we like to top ours with honey, mm. or we also recommend maybe chocolate frosting. All of that is in the cookbook, again, page 46, so it will give you information on that. And 
One thing to note with this recipe, we don't have any other flours in the mixture. It's just the bean flour. So you don't have to worry about going to find some other flour. You make the flour like we did today and a few other ingredients and you too can have a bean muffin and some bread because I'm sure some of you who are viewing this are probably looking for a bread replacement. So we go ahead and um, take care of that and hopefully you enjoy. Thanks for watching. For more info and recipe, check out our cookbook sold on Amazon. The link is below. Thanks. Thanks.